Happy Memorial Day, everybody. If I if I look if I look like anger from the movie Inside Out, it's because I, we have this new umbrella and it's red. It used to be orange, and man, this thing is super loud. So I just look like I'm on fire right now. I am okay. It's totally okay. I hope you are celebrating today. I hope you are remembering those that have lost their lives in the line of duty. That's really the spirit behind why we celebrate Memorial Day. But I'm taking you up to the thrift stores. Let's do some shopping. Today's video's got some of the big hitters in it, but it's really like the $15 items that I found in this video that I'm more excited about. Although that camera that I found is really a banger. Stay tuned. First pickup of the day. The nice thing about this lamp, when I picked it up for the first time, it was very heavy. You can see it's really nicely articulated, right? As a pretty lampshade, a little dust on it. I'll clean that up, no problem. But I think, and I'm gonna get my Disney princesses screwed up here. Who do we have? We have Cinderella, Belle, and Sleeping Beauty. Do I have it right? It's gonna cost me $13, but there's a lot of detail on this and it's well made. I don't know if that's resin. I'm not sure what the thing is made out of, but it was a high quality lamp. And at $13, I think what I'm going to do here, because I can't find an exact sold comparable, but I feel like there's enough value there and somebody's going to be willing to pay $60 for it. That's the price I'm going to shoot at. I'll have it listed for $60, paying up a little bit as far as lamps go in this location. And I don't really find tons of items in this location. They're sort of slower to get things out but i'm checking a couple of carts here i don't mind paying the 13 dollars price but i think usually those table lamps are in the seven eight dollar range so maybe the fact that it was a disney princess one they or it was just heavy that they they marked it up a little bit either way it's cool we'll pay 13 we'll move on 60 bucks we check the rest of these carts that came out to see if there's anything else here honestly i couldn't find anything else in this store so i moved over to another store a smaller store here and keep your eye out for these G-Defy shoes. Unfortunately, they've got damage there, but the shoe caught my eye, so I kind of ran to it. But listen, you can get $40 to $50 for that style right there if you find them in decent enough condition. So I left those behind. I did grab these. I'm always looking for wrestling shoes, all right? So these are Adidas, and uh, John Smith is the name on the tongue. You can, if you see, if you look at the soles, the soles are excellent, right? You have a little bit of cosmetic wear here. The problem with this shoe is the zippers are really stuck. They're almost like rusted to the point where I can't move them. They're going to cost me five and a half dollars. I did purchase them. I didn't know at the time. It's like when I came home and it was time to start photographing them that they were going to have this issues. So I'm going to, we're in a little bit of a bind if I can't get the zipper to work. So I think that's important for the function of the wrestling shoes, but it's a hundred bucks. If I can get it to work and uh, I can get it photographed, listed and then sold brand new that would be 350 i didn't check these ronaldos those might have been valuable so sorry i don't have any info on it for you on that ronaldo shoe but 350 of those were brand new definitely 100 plus pre-owned especially since the soles looked as good as they did so i don't remember if there was really anything else in this store either so we're kind of in and out being very picky this memorial day weekend and I moved over to another store. Sometimes I pick things up like this that they're just, this is not a uh, an exciting item, right? It's a Spring Star flea trap. I see one sold for around $42 or something like that with free shipping. So I'm going to grab it. It's brand new in the box. Super boring. Keep it in my garage until it sells. I'm going to mark it at $30 and I'll charge shipping on it. But I feel like for me, that's a good pickup. If you're new, I would leave that behind because um, I'm not 100% convinced that it's like got just such an amazing sell through rate, if you will. I only see the one sold. So if you're new, maybe pass that one up. I'm going to take it though. It does work for my business model. Looked at this Orbit. I don't know if this is a wire cutter or not. Thought maybe it had some value, but it looks like some of them sell new, like for around $12 or so. So left that behind, left the um, craftsman hammer behind, but I definitely look at tools a lot more than I used to because they are simple to photograph in stores. So next thing that I am not going to pick up here is this True Religion pajama bottom piece. I think these are men's. You can see it's brand new with the tags, but not every True Religion item is a home run. This is one of the cases where 
even if it's five dollars i think i saw some selling in like the 15 to 20 dollar range um i don't know i i didn't even check to see what these would have cost i think maybe if it's like loungewear or sleepwear it would be five dollars but their pants are nine so i'm gonna leave that one behind and i'm not afraid to pick up low value items this is a really good example of one there was no price on it so luckily i got it for a dollar it's a 2016 wwe wrestling belt but i think it's john's it's john cena's belt i'm gonna pop these little side pieces out here and you'll see his uh, slogan you can't see me so that's definitely john cena it's a mattel 2016 belt these things really sell and again it's only going to be $15. It's not a heavy hitter, but at a dollar, I can't pass it up. Actually, my ex-wife's little boy would love this, so if it doesn't get listed in my store, you'll know where it went. But 15 bucks, only thing that cost me $1. I'm going to grab that. Super easy to photograph and all of the uh, rest of the things that it takes to get them photographed and, and fulfilled. There was in, was that another our generation, other generation, one of those like generic American girl doll. That chair, I feel like I always see that chair at that thrift store. Let me know if you always spot it too. It's like, I see it every other week and I think it's our generation. I don't know if it has any value. Some of those items used to, but maybe the market caught up with it and uh, it's not worth anything. So I'll leave that behind. We'll leave the floaties behind. And here's another item that I'm gonna pass up on. It is Marquis Waterford. It is the um, Brookside, and you can see the price they were they were asking 17 for it. It's a Brookside ice bucket, and it does have the tongs inside. So it looks like it's brand new. The tongs are still in the plastic. There weren't enough solds really for me to pull the trigger at $17. I did see one sold, and I don't remember if it was an exact comparable. But at $17, it's a little too steep. If it was eight or nine dollars, I might grab it and then be aggressive because I for me, if I'm gonna sell Marquee Waterford, I feel like my price and a lot of the items that I find, they have to be aggressive. So I would probably put it at maybe $30 or $35 at eight. But at $17, I'm going to leave that behind. I think that just comes again with uh with my experience and the prices that I seem to get for the Waterford that is Marquee. So Pass that up. This is actually an interesting find right here. So it's a Samsung digital camera. I think it is 16 megapixels. What's the model number on this? DV300F. Now, I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw the sold comparables. So the sold comparables are like, bye, bye, bye. This is definitely a buy. There's a, I think that was a lithium battery in there but I believe that battery is dead and I don't have any of the cables that go with it. So I'm not exactly sure how we're gonna power this up to get it to work. I bought it cause it was $7 and you saw the sold comparable prices. So this is definitely a please keep your eye out for it type of item. But if I can get that thing charged, if I can find like a universal charger or a universal cord to maybe plug it in USB somewhere in my computer and get it to power up to see if it works, we are good to go. If it doesn't or I can't power it up, I could probably list it as parts only and just disclose that I couldn't power it up and like maybe list it or sell it for $50 or so. I didn't check to see if it sold for parts, but those $100, $100 plus sold comparables looked really good to me. So I'm definitely gonna grab that and we'll figure the rest out later. Another item that I am going to leave behind, I do not want to deal with Facebook Marketplace buyers ever if I can. And I think this is one that I would put on Marketplace. Like an, I don't know if you call this an umbrella table. It swivels, it's adjustable, it's chrome, very heavy. They only want $16 for it. It does have some scratches on the glass. I like it. I mean, I feel like 100 bucks if somebody wanted to do the work on Marketplace, but that person isn't going to be me so i'm leaving that thing behind another again very small item i'm going to pick up starbucks mug arizona you've been here series is that what it said on the bottom flip it over there buddy been there series okay so this is again 15 dollars. it's not marked so it's only going to cost me a buck it's going to take me 10 seconds to do the photos two minutes to sell similar and then two minutes to fulfill I mean, if we're talking about it, I'm five minutes in, do the math on 15 times 12. What is that, $180 an hour? I mean, if you were working at that speed, that item is worth listing if you can get it listed and fulfilled 
in that time frame and do that over and over again. So don't sleep on those $15 items. I tell myself that all the time. So a very fast one to get listed, put it in the basement, wait till it sells. No, uh, no other mugs here or glass that I recognized would be worth my time, but I'm gonna grab that one. 15 bucks, I'll definitely take that and I'll make it, I'll make it work. This is actually a really good exercise for me because sometimes I have to remind myself, like it's not always going to be a 50 or $60 item, right? Those $15 items, the $20 items, those definitely pay the bills. So, so far, I'm satisfied, but I'm still hungry. Let's keep shopping. According to the numbers, these little things right here are selling like faster than anyone can get them listed. So it's a Philips um, sunlight simulator. And I'm going to test it at least to make sure that it will power up in the store here in just a second. But for me, this is going to be an easy $35 to $40. Let's call it $40. But there's something about this little like alarm clock radio simulator that sells extremely well so if you happen to see it it's very unassuming they've got it priced eight dollars so we're gonna plug it in it looks like it works fine when i took it home i tested like the sunlight features and it looks like it's kind of adjustable very unique very interesting and it has a great amount of sales so i love this item i'm taking it 40 bucks for me cost is eight and then another item that I'm going to pass up on, I love beer taps. In fact, I bought a bunch of them not too long ago, sold through basically all of them. I might have one or two left in my inventory, but there's no good sales comparables on these, even though they're brand new. So I'm leaving both of them behind. Brooklyn Defender IPA, Brooklyn Nar Naranjito, I guess how you pronounce that. Leaving those behind, even though I really wanted to pick them up because they were brand new. What were they, $5 each? But if the numbers aren't there, I'm not taking it so spent 43 bucks on everything total listed value is 385 still turned out to be a really great haul gotta get this out of the trunk here you gonna help me get it see the stand right here mm -hmm. you wanna help me pull it up mm -hmm. um can you like say actually yes <laughs> instead of making sounds mm -hmm. silly mm -hmm. you're so silly yes that's better thank you it's a christmas tree okay, where are we it's a christmas tree here's Correct. You know how you say you never want to watch Dad to be? Because it's too boring. Um, this is for the people that do watch it. It's going to be a little bit of a surprise for them. They don't know it yet. So we're going to keep it our little secret as uh, the months go by, okay? And then when July comes, we're, uh, we're going to celebrate them. Sound good? Yeah? Go get that nap, kiddo, all right?